What's up, guys? We're back here with Arc World and uh, Happy New Year's, everyone. Well, excuse me, I am a little under the weather. I've been battling COVID for about a week now, so that's part of the reason to delay. But we were on a trip, a vacation. Uh, yeah, so let's get back to it. VSLT price. We guessed last month that the price was going to be approximately twenty-five cents at the end of the month, and unfortunately, that was wrong. But we got very close, actually. Uh, you know, we were wrong by about 10 days. So we're on June or January 10th right now. And the price has now skyrocketed up to 22 cents. The reason this is happening and the reason why we got, you know, this price increase correct, uh, because around, you know, the first of the new year's of January, it was like 15 cents and it's been staying at that 15 cents for most of the entire month of December. We're not following it every single day like we used to, but the price has been pretty steadily around 15 cents for the entire entirety of December. I think it got as low as 14 cents, but generally you are paying 15 cents, 16 cents for the BSLT. So they did do some updates and then they released not necessarily new content, but just changes to the game, modifications. There is some, I guess you could say new content, because uh, there's ways to get Archeum now that are new. There is ways to sell Archeum for BSLT just straight in the game. Uh, so we'll talk about those things that they changed. Uh, with all these features that they did, and they've also paused that they're, they're selling coins. So they're not selling any of their tokens anymore. At least that was the last information that I've uh, you know read and believed to be the case of what they said out of their statements. So with all that said and done, and with the potential America launch coming up soon, we haven't got any more news on that. So it's supposed to happen in Q1 2023. I don't believe that is happening now. I believe it's going to be probably Q2 2023 is my guess because there's been no update whatsoever. There's been no land sale. There's no information about land sale for North America. And nothing on that has happened. And everything has just been slow, slow, slow. So... With all this being said, we did think that the price was going to go up, and about that 25 cents was the guess that we gave. And, you know, again, 10 days late, because yesterday it was about 17 cents. And this is part of the reason why we're making this video today, even though I'm still under the weather, is that the price surged all the way from 17 to 22 today. And this is the beginning of that big price surge of, of like, hey, people are, are getting ready for America. They're getting ready for the future of Arcworld. And they're realizing that Arcworld is not going to die as easily as maybe they thought it was or that, you know, Excel Games is going to give up, abandon this game. So let's take a look at what they have done over the last month or so. So they've done more events. They've done more of these gambling events. Lucky pouches are the new thing for New Year's. They did Christmas blessing boxes uh, and so forth. So every time it's always been an RNG box event where you buy a ticket or get a ticket and you pay some BSLT and then you get a random chance to open up. In the Christmas one, it was gold and then you get land and then you potentially could win thousands of BSLT. And they've been doing this every single week since pretty much the game started. There's always been some kind of event like this. But the thing is, the people that are left playing the game are into these events. People that are, are still here playing Arcworld. Uh, you know, I'm currently not actively playing Arcworld. Uh, I jump in every so often to collect land and do little miscellaneous chores, but I don't actually play play the game. But the people that are playing and actively doing, you know, content and game, they are enjoying these things. I've got people message me and say, hey, in this last event, I made, you know, a thousand BSLT thanks to this you know gambling events and that's a, a common thing that has happened and they're like oh i've also won like two small lands or whatever you know like i've got people multiple people have actually messaged me these things and be like hey look at this i got this you know out of the event i won two lands or hey i got a thousand bslt there's one person that even got like you know two lands and like i think it was 900 bslt in one of the events so like the events have been very profitable for those that have been putting the time and the effort into doing these events and so the people that are left are actively buying the bslt that is needed to open up these pouches for new year's for example or for christmas the the chest whatever it was so 
with that happening, they're actively buying the BSLT and then they're also reinvesting it back into the game, upgrading their characters as well, progressing their gears. And then also since they're getting new lands, so a lot more land has been given out, small, medium, large lands are given out in these uh, you know, gambling events. That means they do need to stake more BSLT to buy the housing design. So that BSLT gets locked up again. So overall, this system is doing really, really well and is promoting the purchase of BSLT. So whether you think these gambling events are scams and you actually haven't made any money off of them or anything like that, I think the general consensus is that you're wrong on that, that these are actually uh, positive uh, ROIs, that if you you know, open 10,000 of these lucky pouches, and spend the you know what is that a hundred thousand or ten thousand BSLT to open all these pouches, you're going to get more on average than what you put into it. Again, this is all speculation. I don't know the numbers. They they don't give out the data, the hard data on this stuff, and it is RNG. Uh, but from just the information that I've seen from you know players that I've helped in the past, friends, they've told me that these things have been pretty good. And from my personal experience on the prior events they have been pretty decent, like, you know, break even, maybe lose a little, maybe win a little. Uh, and then that's without winning any big jackpots or anything like that. So those events have been the main things that have been happening. And then patch notes. So what has happened also is they've now allowed you to own three of the XL Games community lands. So before you could only own one community XL, XL game land. Now you can actually own and rent three of them. Well, you don't, so you don't own them, but you rent three from XL games. So more people are now able to have land empires before you had to have the NFTs themselves to own multiple different lands to, to farm. And you could only have one XL games land. But now that you can own three, that's a dramatic increase in the amount of BSLT that is needed to manage all these because you have to, again, buy the design, the house design. They've also increased the cost for crafting Archeum boxes and the cars, uh, 5,000 and 10,000 boxes. So they're now up by 3%. So things like this, and then also the drops. So we'll have to we'd have to jump in game to show you this, but we talked about the blue Archeum core being you know really expensive for a while, and it was the thing that you hunted, and then it was purple Archeum core that was worth 200, 300 BSLT. That's what you hunt. Um, and we talked about in the future these things will actually become dirt cheap, and that has already happened. So the blue Archeum core is down to about like 15 BSLT. The purple Archeum core is down to about 30 BSLT. And the yellow Archeum core is round down to about 30 BSLT. So with the prices of those things being cheaper, that is allowing more people to actually upgrade their gear and progress their characters. So a lot of things are happening in this rapid period of time, December to January, and they really haven't added anything else. Like if we go into the news section, we can see that nothing else really happened in this month. So like the patch note right here, there's a bug fix. So we already did that one. But the patch note for January 5, like they did absolutely nothing. The existing guilds can proceed with a new group mission. So there's one new group mission for guilds. December 22nd. So new Luna Stones got added. They also changed the loot of the Ancestral Pouch. So they're making it better to do hunting grounds in the Ancestral Hunter Grounds, which are the Ancestral Monsters, a level 1 to level 11. You can also get incomplete Archeum Dust there now, which is very profitable to actually farm. Like it's, yeah, it's getting expensive because the other big thing that they did was, let's go find it here. They made it so that you could sell Archeum directly to the game. I think it's right here, uh, Reserve Fund. So you can sell 
3,000 Archeum for 18 BSLT in game. And you can do that 10 times per day. So you can sell a maximum of 30,000 Archeum for 180 BSLT every single day. So that means if you have lots and lots of houses that are just generating Archeum, you're gonna need the dust to make the Archeum. And then you take the Archeum and you go sell it and you have a guaranteed buyer in XL Games who's buying all of this Archeum at that price, which then is bringing up the price. So like before, when we were active at playing, you know, 10,000 BSLT or 10,000 Archeum cost approximately around 40 BSLT. Well now, 10,000 Archeum costs around 70 BSLT. And the reason that is, is because you can sell 9,000 Archeum to Excel Games and get 54 BSLT straight up, just, you know, easy, uh, no fees, nothing, just there you go. So 10,000 Archeum has to sell for a little bit more now, because also when you sell it, you lose that 10%. So if you sell it for, for 70 BSLT, right, you're actually only going to be getting 63 BSLT. So even at that point, you're still almost just better off selling it to XL Games themselves and taking the free money from them. So these are the big changes that has happened over the last 30 days. And there is information. They gave us some information in the Discord about what's coming up. And there's really not that much coming up in the future, which this is why I think the North America release is being delayed significantly. Because the only thing they really said that's going to happen in January was they're going to have 50 versus 50 like arena battle mode or something to that degree. So we'll see what happens in there. But overall, uh, the price of BSLT is going up. Uh, we did think this was going to happen. We didn't actually buy a whole bunch of BSLT like I wanted to at the 15 cent mark. So I definitely did miss out on that opportunity. Uh, but you win some, you lose some. I do have some BSLT in games still, just from the basic farming activities that we've been doing. Uh, but yeah, no big deal. But I do think, so now let's take a look at the price prediction. What is gonna happen to BSLT this month, January to February? So my guess is that the BSLT will continue this increase and probably get up to about 30 cents. So that's my guess. By the end of January, I think we're going to see about BSLT at 30 cents. Something that is very interesting is that they want this game to succeed so bad that they're not selling the tokens anymore. Like they said, they're just like, okay, we're, we're not going to crash the market price. So they know that 17 cents or 15 cents was like too low and they don't want to lose all the players' faith and trust in them. So they decided not to sell. So I think that we will get up to about 30 cents. We'll get some big news about America and the server, whether it's delayed or whether land sales are gonna happen. But I think they are now focusing on fixing the game, making the game and developing new content for the game and trying to figure out how to get land ownership and land profitability up. Right now, land profitability is really, really high. Like I did some number crunching and it looks like that you know, you can make a lot of money by just simply logging in and doing farming activities and selling the Archeum. It is a really, really good time to actually be a landowner. And the prices of land are really, really cheap on OpenSea. So right now, there's not that many people that are interested in doing it. But the people that are, are probably making a ton of money uh, actually just farming the game over and over and over again. And as long as the game stays alive for, you know, years to years to come, you can make a good amount of money by simply logging in farming and doing activities like that you also have the the option to go into the arena and get the arena prizes because you know maybe there's only 100 or 200 people that are actively fighting in the arena and all you have to do is get in the top 100 so if you win one or two battles you can probably get into the top 100 and get some free bslt every single week so there's a lot of ways to actually you know in uh, like make money and, and earn out of arc world now Whereas before it wasn't. Before it was just like you do the rifts and you hope to get lucky. Well, now with the prices, the cores and everything being so cheap, you don't even really want to do the rifts. So I'm not even sure if we're seeing raids anymore doing rifts or what. Uh, it's a very interesting time. The game has definitely evolved and changed significantly. It might have turned now into a purely like house farm simulator at this point with maybe some solo ancestral mob farming going on as well. 
we'll see what happens though because there definitely is a lot of content that can and will be released in the future and as long as the company Excel Games does not give up on this uh, adventure here this will have a successful run like you'll be you personally in my opinion will be able to make money out of this i've made money out of this already like you know we cashed out our money of this game and we made money off of this game so i think even just starting now like it's a great time i was looking at some of the gears the gears were like 150 bslt or 250 bslt for like i think a tier 4 armor uh kind of like near max level like celestial or whatever it is and they were really really cheap and so like if you put in 150 bucks in this game right now you can get a gear score probably around like 16,000, uh which puts you pretty high in the rankings uh you definitely should be able to get into the top 100 i'd say on the arena to get some weekly bslt reward back and then you should be able to easily kill a bunch of ancestral monsters because i know i think we were at in i think we we're at gear score level 1400 and we were able to kill ancestral level one and two monsters like you know not that difficult so if you're if you're getting a, an additional 2000 gear score uh you definitely should be able to kill ancestral you know level ones and twos very easily farm those mobs earn uh you know money that way via farming them because they do drop uh, the Archeum dust now so you can use that to build up your houses you do want houses though houses are the way to make money and it's nice to see again because before it was simply do rifts and housing was kind of like eh not really worth it but housing has made a huge rebound with all the changes that they've done and now housing is definitely a really really good investment right now especially buying them off of OpenSea I think they're down to about $100 for a small land plot which is really really cheap uh, when they were approximately around $300 before uh, BSLT price again is rising which means that as BSLT price rises the house plots definitely should be more valuable uh, and if they don't rise up in, in value then you have a an opportunity right there to grab cheap land plots and then use those and just slowly grind and make money off of the land plots. Again, this all matters though. If you want to put the time and effort into the game, you do have to log in and harvest your Archeum and harvest your labor. And you have to have some sort of enjoyment or time to do this. Uh, you're not really going to make money by renting the land out or anything like that. And who knows, the land prices might continue to drop down, down, down. Uh, we don't know what the future will hold. No one knows what the future will hold on any investments. And everything is definitely, uh, you know, a risk. So you have to uh, do your own research on these things. You have to gauge, do you think this is a good idea or not? And, you know, plan accordingly. And then, you know, execute your plan. So, but I do think that the BSLT price will keep going up. I think that the land prices will be going up as well in the future. Um, the Phantom cards have stayed pretty solidly at around like that 100 USD for Phantom cards, which I'm surprised that they've stayed that high uh, when land prices have gotten a lot cheaper. Uh, but I think a lot of people are definitely waiting for the American release. And so I do think that the American release will skyrocket the Phantom card prices and then also the BSLT price. Unfortunately, when that happens, I do think that excel games is going to start selling a bunch of their tokens and bring that price of the bslt token down i don't think we'll ever see another like 90 cents on the bslt token i don't think it'll ever get that high again uh, because they have so many tokens that they do need to sell themselves but who knows if they do release more fun and exciting content this is still by far the best blockchain game out there and is the you know only real game that I think has potential to be a massive, massive blockchain success with real gameplay and actual interactions with people. You don't have to really spend anything. You can play this game strictly as a free-to-play player. They give you all the options in game. You can earn stuff in game as well. And yeah, you can jump in completely 100%. There's no, no bs there where like you have to spend money like you don't there's a bunch of people that i know that have spent zero dollars and have cashed out hundreds upon hundreds of dollars because they put the time and the effort into playing arc world over the last four months 
Anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, as always. And let me know, do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? What are your thoughts of the BSLT price? What are your thoughts of ArcWorld and the crypto space in general? Love to hear from you guys, as always.